So we were invited to a screening of The Substance, starring Demi Moore, Margaret Qualley, and Dennis Quaid. And we went into this blind. <laughs> I had some idea about what this was about, so I wasn't completely blind, but Kaylee was 100% blind. Yeah. Um, and it's, okay. It's so hard. <laughs> it's, yeah. So we have an aging starlet who uh, just don't got it no more, according to her producer, uh, Dennis Quaid. And so she decides to take drastic measures to remain relevant. That's what I'm going to say about the movie. That's good. Yeah, it's a good summary. This is a body horror movie, if there ever was a body horror movie. I want to, cl I want to clarify something when it comes to body horror. So I think there's different variations of the body horror subgenre. You have, like, the thing, which mm. is, like, an entity that takes over the body and destroys the body and the body horror we see is the actual like creature itself mm -hmm. imitating life mm -hmm. then there's the actual body of the human that is having the horror done to their body mm -hmm. and they have to live with whatever is happening to their body so there's like two different types of body horror this is like true body horror yes. and the thing to me is like more of a monster movie that also could be classified as body horror, but I would more put it in the category of a uh, monster movie. Yeah. Okay, so I, I want to make that distinction here when I say this. Because off the top of my head, I'm just going to come out the gate swinging on this. <laughs> because I couldn't be higher on a film if I tried. I'm still <laughs> vibrating from how much I love this film. This is probably the best body horror movie I've ever watched. Mm. And I've watched... Pretty much all of them that I'm aware of that are like the bigger named body horror movies. Um, and I just came out of this, the whole film. I have so much to say about this movie, it's actually overwhelming it's, to me. It's really overwhelming, yeah. I can say this though. The crowd we were with. Mm -hmm. This is why a theater can be such a wonderful addition. Or it can, of course have the opposite effect and, yeah. and, and be a terrible time or it can add no value whatsoever this we had a crowd that was having such a time with this such visceral reactions yes. to everything happening this movie is fucking insane yes it's so crazy you want to talk about over the top you <laughs> want to talk about graphic and i mean in all ways i'm talking about sexually yeah. Uh, mostly just nudity, but really yeah. extreme nudity. A lot of gratuitous from nudity. Both Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley, who bear all to say the least. Yeah. Um, but also the the practical effects. Mm -hmm. There is some CG, very little. There's very little CG. It's there for sure, but it is almost all practical. Mm -hmm. And it is the most insane practical effects I've seen yes. in forever. The levels this goes to were so much more over the top than I was expecting. We get like evil dead levels of blood and gore. Oh, yes. Yeah. It is so fucking insane. It is such a wild ride. If you are squeamish, if you are somebody <laughs> who is going to be grossed out by body horror, avoid this like the plague. <laughs> this movie is fucking crazy. It's and really at two crazy. hours and 20 minutes, this is quite the fucking experience to sit through if you are uncomfortable and oh, yeah. most people in this theater were uncomfortable, but they were having a great fucking time. God damn it, I loved it. My last thing I'll say here before I kick it over to Kaylee, I am calling it right now. <laughs> there is no way in my mind, I would love to be proven wrong, of course, but there's no way that I'm seeing a better film this year. It's just yeah. not happening in the horror genre. This film is fucking incredible. 10 out of 10, the best shit I've seen all year blew me away unbelievable get to it asap <laughs> if you love body horror fuck what a movie the direction unbelievable yeah i agree i think it's the best film of the year and i think you might be right in saying that it's possibly like the best body horror film that's out there uh it's really outrageous i was worried when we were pulling up to the theater because i checked the runtime before and it is two hours and 20 minutes. And I was like, oh, no, I, I you know, because obviously when a movie's long, if you don't like it, it's yeah, really long. It can be a chore. And uh, 
I didn't I felt like this flew by I do not, not feel second. like there was any moment wasted <laughs> no. everything from the beginning just pulls you in I think that this is like one of the most important movies of the year and maybe even like the decade as far as talking about um you know, women and the objectification and sexualization of women's bodies. Uh, I had a really intense reaction to it afterwards when we were talking about it on the car ride home. It was bringing up a lot of different emotions and it was making me cry and making me angry. Um, but in like a really uh, cathartic kind of a way, I think it's good to feel those things. But during the movie, I was having a lot of fun. I was definitely grossed out at times. There is some really good, like, very dark humor injected oh in God. that landed really well for our audience. And I think for most people, it will hit. Um, there's so much to say about yeah. the movie. Like, it is really hard to not talk about spoilers. And this is definitely a film that needs a spoiler discussion oh to really, like, get into all of the themes that are explored and just everything. But, yeah, I think the performances are phenomenal. I mean, Demi Moore is, like... It just insane in this best performance of her career. This is really the best like practical makeup effect too that I've seen, definitely this year. And I don't know. I mean, like it's hard to like compare it to other things because really it's the closest thing level. I can compare it to, as far as like how much I loved it, is The Fly in terms of like transformation yeah. type of thing. So. Yeah, I mean, this is something, like, if you haven't, if you don't know anything about it, but you love body horror, like, go watch it without anything else. It's, I think, wonderful to go into this blind, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know what the trailer looks like. I don't know what any of that looks like. So I'm, I'm definitely worried that, well, I don't know. I don't know if it would, like, spoil anything, but. Yeah. The reveals and, like, what ends up happening is just so insane. <laughs> and so insane. it's, like. Yeah, I I can't say enough good about it either. So our crowd was just, I, I haven't had a crowd reaction like this in a while. So if you can see this with a sold out kind of theater experience, absolutely do so. Don't try to see this in an empty theater because you're trying to avoid people. Hopefully you get a crowd like we had. You know, sometimes big crowds can vary some people can be assholes some people can ruin the movie experience but if you get a good crowd and they're really vibing with this movie the i almost felt like one guy in our theater was like paid by somebody because <laughs> his of reactions. his reactions to everything were so over the top but they were adding to the film so much because it was like what we were all experiencing except for he was just okay with letting it out <laughs> as to where a lot of us are trained to like try to hold it in but at once you get to that end part, no one could hold it in anymore. You had the whole audience laughing, screaming, just every kind of emotion was just being yeah. thrown at the screen. And it was all earned. You have Debbie Moore giving what I consider to be the best performance I've ever seen her give. This is like completely like you want to talk about vulnerable. Oh, you, my God. You want to talk about like so leaving it all on the table. Yeah. Not giving a fuck. This is one hell of a powerhouse performance from her. She is giving it her absolute all at 61 years of age to go out and to give a performance like this in full nudity, literally living, like letting the camera linger on every single part of her body, every flaw she has being exposed on this massive screen. And then you have Margaret Qualley, who's like, the juxtaposition, like the, 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 the polar opposite of like pure perfection. She's 30 years old. Her body is fucking sculpted by the gods. And she's like, she's giving this completely different performance. And it's incredible as well. And Dennis Quaid plays oh the most obnoxious, yeah. awful male stand-in. He is like the the embodiment of every single thing wrong with men. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to make this to sound like this is some man hating movie, but you can't help but hate men while you're watching it for sure, especially because we had talked about this while we were on the way home, how we had such different experiences watching it as a female and as a male um, and how I was viewing it as the villain and she was 
you know, viewing it. And I don't want to speak for you, but I'll let you talk on that matter. But it was it was a, such a visceral experience, and 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 not to you know I apologize for the pun here because I don't mean it to be, but it really is this. The movie is absolutely style and substance. Oh, There's yeah. so it's much both. substance to the film. There's so much the movie has to say. Yes. But in addition to that, and this might be the most substantive movie I've watched this year, but in addition to this. This movie might be the style. It is absolutely the most stylish film I watched this year as yes, well. Yeah. Everything about this film is meticulously the soundtrack crafted. Soundtrack was so incredible and like well used. The the sound the design, direction. the direction is yeah. um, impeccable. The shot selections and everything were just so. It was so good. The framing. There's so the much. The camera movement. Yeah. The style. Everything is style. Now, can this be way too much for some people? A hundred percent. Will this be an assault on the senses? And they're going to say, this is way too much. This is, this is like, you know, up its own ass. This is so self-indulgent. That's the, that right there. I'm going to, I'm going to clip that out right there. That's going to be the, the opposing view of this mm -hmm. film is that it's way too self-indulgent. And I can see that kind of like, I, I can understand if you're not the kind of person who vibes with this style, because it is literally an assault on the sense it is is so over the top in every imaginable way everything is dialed to an 11 but it has purpose mm -hmm. and the film is bombastic it is loud it is in your face it never shies away from any of the themes that it's exploring it's very heavy-handed but in a very artistic and well-done way and i just fucking love this follow-up from the director of revenge she did I just I can't praise this film enough for so many things the 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 look of the film the 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 feeling of the film the message behind the film the I, literally you pick any aspect of this film and it's a fucking 10 for me that's why it's a 10 right it's it's all perfect yeah I think everything is really intentional and there's very um purposeful like visual storytelling which just helps to add all that substance to the story already um but yeah, I think that you could probably take any part of the film and dissect it further. Absolutely. And it's like, there's just, it's a very rich movie. Um, but it's also a very entertaining movie. So like sometimes, you know, you get films that like have a ton to say and they're maybe more slow paced and like intense and intimate. And it's, you know, not entertaining in that like typical sense, but because this is like body horror and like gross out, like like nasty stuff there is that entertainment factor of like watching like something horrifying happening and being yeah. like born and you can't look away um or you can look away if you're grossed out but it's there's there's so much to it there's so much to it if you're watching this movie and you're watching how it's ramping itself up and it keeps kind of outdoing itself and how insanely over the top it is. And you feel like the climax can't live up to what it's escalating to. You are fucking wrong. The, <laughs> climax, the climax is is, amazing. is such a payoff. It's crazy. Yeah. Like it goes so hard yes. in the end. Yes. It's, and as I said, we, so we had a couple different experiences as we were walking out. We got to hear the person in front of us. And we got to hear the person behind us as the person is taking, you know, down the reviewers who are there for the uh, early screening. They're taking down their their thoughts. The, fir the person in front of us was this guy who was like smitten over it like I am. And he was like, oh, my God, the person who did the I think he said the um, like the color. Oh, yeah. Palette. Something like that. That they deserve, like, you know, I think he said a Pulitzer, which is funny to me, but uh, whatever. I swear to God that I think that's what he said. And I was like, mm, I don't think that's what you meant, but that's fine. But then we we said, and literally all I said was fucking incredible. And she was like, you want that as your headline and, and anything more? And I was like, no, fucking incredible. That's literally all I have to say. Unbelievable. Just crazy. And then the chick behind us was like, it was a bit much. Like, the ending was so much. And I'm like, yes, but in the best way imaginable. So, the ending was, I, it was so crazy up until that point. <laughs> but when you hit that third act, and, like, the fight begins, everything from there 
Yeah, it's it, goes so hard it actually shocked me. Yeah, I I was jump I was almost jumping out of my seat. Everyone the movie ended and I was like, like kind of people were being quiet and I just started clapping. I was like, I have fuck. I'm that 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 meme that you see of the dude clapping in the dark theater by himself. I think it's um. <laughs> freaking Shia LaBeouf and he's just cl clapping like manically and ev everyone kind of joined him like oh yeah okay but they were all having such a great time but I was like fuck it I don't give a shit I'm clapping this is amazing yeah um <laughs> I mean yeah you're doing you're doing a great job at like praising it so I feel like everything else I'm just adding on because it was just so wonderful and uh, I don't know I don't have I can't like really put it into words Oh, I can. It's just, it's just fucking incredible. I just, God, when I'm thinking of every single scene, how it plays out, the style behind it, the way that they frame things, the way that the storytelling, the, the visual storytelling on display here from the opening shot, I knew I was in for a fucking ride. They do some really, really creative. It's on the nose. As I said, a lot of this is heavy handed. But it's done in like it's done so sincerely that I don't give a shit. Like I could see people being like, once again, too self indulgent that it's up its own ass. That it's like so obvious with what it's trying to say. But I don't care. That's the point. It's meant to be that over the top. It's meant to be that in your face. So it doesn't bother me. It doesn't have to be cryptic. It doesn't have to be you know freaking uh, ambiguous. It's there's nothing ambiguous. It is so like in your face, and that's I just. Mm, mm. Chef's kiss, the fucking, like, we're going to get these overhead shots, time passage, stuff like that. The way it's done, the uh, the introduction to our characters, all of that stuff. Just fucking phenomenal. I, I haven't felt this excited about a film in a little while. I would love Strange Darling. I fucking loved it, but I did not feel this way. I was really into that movie. This is next level. This is something <laughs> fucking different. This is like a classic for the ages for me. Yeah, I know I'm fucking definitely... overselling it. I know this is hyperbolic to some people. I don't give a fuck. I will still feel this way in years from now, I guarantee it. It's definitely going to be a classic film, uh, I think, for the future. For sure. I can't see how it wouldn't be. There's so many parts to it that are just like, they scream timeless. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fucking 4K release, box set, <laughs> whatever the fuck. I got to get it. I got to watch this thing again. Unbelievable. Just support the shit out of this this is the kind of movie guys you're always asking yeah for uh you know original unique wild cinema here the fuck you go this is what it is right here this you don't want to see strangers chapter eight okay <laughs> right we don't want a reboot of other movies endlessly we don't like as much as i love the halloween franchise and all that stuff this is what we really want. Yes. And if we want these things, we have to support these yeah, things. Yeah, definitely go out and support it. Watch it, see it, fucking take a friend, get your friend to take a friend, and so on and so forth. Fill up the fucking theater. Praise this fucking movie to the heavens. Tell these directors this is what kind of shit we're looking for. That's that. I've <laughs> praised it enough, I guess, but there's not enough praise for the film, in my opinion. It is such a visceral experience, but it also has substance behind it. God damn, what a film. God damn it, what a film. <sighs> so fucking good. Anyway. Um, I don't know what happened to the camera. We were framed right, and now we're like way off frame, and you're out of frame. I don't know. I don't know. We didn't hit the camera. Did I pull it accidentally or something? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll see you in the comments below. And uh, yeah, you can tell me that we're wrong, that we're idiots. I don't give a shit, man. You're not changing my mind on this one. You're never changing my mind, but <laughs> fuck. If any movie, you're not changing my mind on this one. Anything more, babe? No. All right. So, yeah. But like she said, it's going to have a totally different experience. I definitely did not cry after this movie. <laughs> But I completely understood while she was telling me the way she was feeling and all the things that it hit for her. I knew that was going to happen while we were watching this. When I was watching, I was like, oh, this is going to be such a heavy watch for Kaylee. And it was a heavy watch for me, but just in a completely different way. Yeah. 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 So, spoiler discussion. Coming soon. We'll, we'll, we'll get on it. Maybe when it releases, we can watch it again because I want to take notes. I really want to dive into it and, and really do it justice. Maybe a watch party in the future mm. would be fun as fuck. This is such a crazy movie. This is <laughs> such a crazy movie. My brain is still spinning from everything I saw in this film. <laughs> what a wild experience. Anyway, we got to get Kaylee to bed. Sorry. 
Uh, I loved it. Go see it. That's it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.